Hello there, I am Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right beside of you. This is general reading for the collective. Anybody who tunes in <clears throat> will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no de gender in tarot. Spirit. Two of Cups. True love. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you see they're holding hands and the, it's like smoke or something from the cups rising. True love, your lover. Next card, P King of Pentacles, the King of Money. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The King of Pentacles is grounded, about stable, a business person. Makes his own money, takes care of his money, independent, the king of money, the king of pentacles. Knight of pentacles. This is the knight of money. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The knight of pentacles, he is ground balance stable, he has his own money, he's uh, independent, but he's a very, very slow moving energy, the knight of pentacles. He will take forever to give you an offer, but when he does, it's a solid offer. Younger energy than the King of Pentacles. Unconscious. Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles all over this. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles talks about working hard. This could be you at your job. Maybe there's someone you like at your job. Working, working hard. Building up on your money. Recent past. Karma. Judgment. I love this card. It looks like she's uh, casting a Patronus a la Harry Potter. Karma. You have had some positive karma lately. Near future. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Are you Are you stalking someone? Or is someone stalking you? Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pages are all about messages. And swords are about all about communication. This is my stalker card. Are you stalking someone? Or is someone stalking you? Social media, etc. Where do you find yourself? Four of Swords, Four of Swords, Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Four of Swords talks about rest, relaxation, recuperation, taking some time out to work on yourself. I like the Four of Swords. Minor Arcana Hermit, to me, as a reader. External Influences, the Empress, are you pregnant? Congratulations. If not, take proper precautions. The Empress, she is, sits in her throne in most decks. She does not get out of her throne for anybody. She's depend, she's independent. She um, counts on herself. She is always birthing new ideas. She is Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. I love the Empress energy. This is Libra and Taurus energy. Hopes and or fears. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, my Ice Knight. Uh, swords are all about honest, clear communication. The Knight is a younger energy than the King and Queen. Ice, the, the Knight of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. But he's, he's more immature, so he can be blunt, abrasive. And rushing in and out of your life. 
blunt. Overall outcome, the moon, Pisces energy. So talks that there's a black wolf and a white wolf um, howling at the moon. This is talking about secrets, lies, and deceptions. For this moon card, I like, it's like she is coming up to the surface to have the secrets, lies, deceptions um, become known to her. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. It looks like a star all the way up there. The Hierophant is all about or order, tradition, stability. This also talks about an increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Four of Cups. Mm, is that why you're in Four of Swords here? Four of Cups. There's three cups in front of her. She's sad. She's she's lonely. Um, she's not looking. She just concentrating on the three spilled cups. She's not concentrating on the cup behind her of love. Someone's got love to offer you. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Wishy-washy behavior. Wishy-washy behavior. It's not the knight. It's, it's not the king of pentacles with the wishy-washy behavior. Um, your person may be juggling two people. One of your knights, maybe. King of cups, king of love. I, I him I like. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. This king is loving, caring, compassionate, a uh, good partner, a good parent, the king of love. If the king of love is in your life, he is definitely not juggling. And last card, equal give and take. Six of pentacles, pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of pentacles talks all about equal give and take. In your relationship, should, there should be equal give and take. Have faith in your dreams. Wax and crescent moon. Like that. A win win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. One of the deck. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So we had true love at the beginning. And the king of money. You are the empress. You are divine feminine. Male or female. Your feminine side. Independent. Sitting in your power. We have the king of love. King of love and the king of money. We have you work, work, working on your money. Taking some time out. Maybe finding out some secrets. But have faith in your dreams. A win-win outcome is forecast. If you're stalking someone, please stop. And your hard work is pay paying off. So I see money here, and of course, with the Two of Cups, true love. All right, have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. This has been Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye.